Welcome to our lesson about the steering wheel. Let me downsize the browser pane just a little and then expand my active document window. The icon for the steering wheel command is accessed from the navigation bar. The steering wheel is Inventor's second unified navigation tool, where you've got many different viewing commands in a self-contained interface. You click on the wheel to activate it, and then, when you move your mouse, the wheel will follow your movements in a semi-transparent state around the graphic area. There's no need to hold down any mouse button. The wheel will stay with you until you close it. Let's open it again with a left click. Now let's hover the cursor over some of the tools on the navigation wheel here. The tool that I mouse over turns green. If the tool isn't available, it won't change color. Sometimes they turn green or blue. A callout appears with instructions explaining what the tool does or what you need to do when you activate it. In order to activate one of the steering wheel commands, you need to left click on that section of the wheel and then keep your left mouse button held down. Release the left mouse button to end an action. You'll immediately return to the steering wheel. We're looking at the full navigation wheel. It's got eight positions. On the outside of the wheel are tools we've talked about before. Pan, Orbit, and Zoom. Here's the Rewind tool. This works like a previous view, except it's a little more cool. Zoom is just like you'd expect. Left click, hold down the mouse button. Drag down to zoom in, drag up to zoom out. Pan also works just like it does on the navigation bar. Left click and hold your mouse button down. Then drag left and right, up and down, to adjust your model's position on the plane that's parallel to the graphic area. Rewind takes us through previous views with these convenient thumbnails. Just left click and drag left or back right, and then release the mouse to accept a view. Let's try the Orbit tool now. Hold down the left mouse button. You can hold down the Shift key too to roll the view. And when you're done, just release the left mouse button and you'll return to the wheel. We're able to adjust the pivot point dynamically while the Orbit tool is active. Let's hold down the left mouse button to activate Orbit. Now hold down the Control key simultaneously to enable pivot point selection. Drag to your new pivot point and release the Control key. Then continue to hold down the left mouse button to orbit your model. Let's look at the tools on the inside of the wheel. Center, Walk, Up and Down, and Look. We use the center tool to establish a zoom and orbit center. Just left click and hold it down, then drag to your desired center point, release the mouse to accept your new center point. The walk tool simulates walking through a model. Left click and hold down the tool. Drag in the direction that you want to walk. You can hit the arrow keys to adjust up and down. You can also use the plus key on your keyboard to speed up the movement. The Look tool swivels your current view. You can also use the arrow keys to make adjustments left or right, up or down while the Look tool is active. And release the left mouse button to return to the wheel. The Up and Down tool, this slides your current view up and down along the axis of the model. This wheel here is the full navigation wheel. There's a number of other preset options which we can access with a right click or clicking on the customize arrow next to the wheel. Autodesk has prepared these presets to accommodate various functions, object manipulation, tour building, object building, etc. Let's try the mini full navigation wheel. Each tool in the full navigation wheel appears here as a section of the pie. You just move your mouse in the direction of the tool to highlight it and then left click to activate it. Now let's say this wheel is too small for you to use comfortably. You may be wondering how you can restore a larger wheel. You can right click on your active wheel at any time to access the other presets, or you can click the sub menu arrow on the tool in the navigation bar. Let's look at the next wheel type, the mini view object wheel. This mini wheel gives us the commands that are on the outer ring of the full navigation wheel. Rewind, Orbit, Zoom, and Pan. Just left click on any pie wedge to execute the action. Keep your mouse button held down, and then release the mouse button to finish. We can right click on the wheel or the icon, or click the customize arrow that the larger wheels display to access a contextual menu for this tool. Let's scroll to Options. Now let's change the mini wheel size to extra large and click OK. 
Let's activate the Mini View Object Wheel. Nice and big now, if a little blurry. Let's right-click on the wheel to go back to Options, or click the Customize arrow. Let's change back to Normal and click OK. Let's check out another one of the presets now. We'll try the Mini Tour Building Wheel. These commands we've reviewed earlier in the lesson, Walk, Rewind, Up and Down, and Look. Let's take a look at the Basic View Object Wheel. This has got four tools, Center, Zoom, Rewind, and Orbit. Let's activate the Orbit tool. In this mode, we're still able to dynamically set the pivot point as well as the center point. Let's take a look at the next preset, the Basic Tour Building Wheel. This has got a command that we haven't talked about yet, the Forward command. The slider adjusts the distance between your current point of view and the pivot point. It's basically a way of adjusting three-dimensionally without necessarily moving up and down the axis. Let's return to the Options dialog window now. We've got four preset sizes to choose from for the mini wheel. Small, Normal, Large, and Extra Large. For the big wheels, we can choose between Small, Normal, and Large sizes. Let's see what the large size looks like. This is a little too large for my graphic area. Let's get back to the Options dialog window and restore it to normal size. Click OK. And back to the Options dialog window. Let's talk about wheel opacity. By now, you'll be familiar with how this works. This refers to the level of transparency of the wheel in your graphic area. 25% opacity is even more transparent than my current setting of 50%. 75% is less transparent. And 90% is completely solid or mostly opaque. Let's try that. Now there is almost no transparency in the steering wheel. And let's go back to the Options menu. I want to take a look at the Navigation Options on the lower panel of this window. If you check the Look tool, Invert Vertical Axis, this option will swap the up and down motion of the Look tool. Zoom tool, Enable Incremental Zoom In. When this box is checked, a single click over the Zoom wedge zooms in on your model. Otherwise, nothing happens when you give it a single click. Let's check out this option. We'll try it out. Let's pull up a wheel with a zoom command. And now all we need to do is just click on the zoom wedge and we zoom in. Back to options. Orbit tool selection sensitivity. When this is checked, the objects that you've got selected before you enable the orbit tool are used to calculate the pivot point. The pivot point is calculated based on the center of the extents of these selections. The Walk tool, Constrain Movement to Ground Plane. When this tool is unchecked, your walking movement direction is based on your current camera looking direction rather than the default ground plane. Underneath, there's a Speed Factor slider for the Walk tool. This sets the speed for the walking. You drag the slider right for faster walking and left for slower walking. And, of course, if you're not happy with your settings, you can always click Restore Defaults to return to Autodesk Factory Settings. Let's click OK now to close the Options window. To close the standalone wheel, you can click the X in the top right corner. Or you can right-click anywhere on the wheel and select Close Wheel. And a reminder that a right-click on any of the wheels gives you the same contextual menu that we got when we clicked on the Customize arrow. We can also close the wheel from the Customize menu, of course. Close wheel. And this concludes our lesson about Inventor's steering wheel.